Hi, and welcome to the Jelvix channel. Today's video topic was inspired by a stunning statistic. Did you know the salary difference between a middle developer and a senior developer typically ranges from 33% to 36% and can even reach up to 63% for highly specialized senior developers? Now, if you're wondering how the salary gap reflects the skill sets of these two roles, we've got you covered. With years of expertise in building scalable, innovative solutions for our clients, we'll break down the key differences in their skills, responsibilities, and how they contribute to a project. All of this is based on a real-life project scenario, guiding you across each step to make it all crystal clear. So, let's get started. We are Jelvix, a software development partner for industry leaders. We post weekly videos on tech in five minutes. Don't forget to subscribe and watch the video till the end to see a full breakdown of middle and senior developer skills and salaries across various regions. All right, imagine the Jelvix team is working on building a social media platform for a fast-growing startup. The platform requires features like user authentication, profile management, and a dynamic feed, all of which need to be scalable, secure, and robust to handle a rapidly expanding user base. In a project like this, you'll see a mix of experience levels on the team. So let's break down what a middle developer and a senior developer would be doing on this project. First up, experience. At Jelvix, based on the industry standard, we typically see middle developers having about two to five years of experience, while those with over five years of experience are considered senior developers. However, it's far more than simply years of work. In fact, seniority may also depend on the depth of skills, leadership capabilities, and the complexity of projects worked on, rather than just the number of years. So let's dive deeper to tackle them all. Middle developers are primarily responsible for implementing features and solving clearly defined tasks. For example, for our social media development project, a middle developer would likely be tasked with implementing the user profile page, setting up the login API, and integrating with third-party services for user authentication. Meanwhile, senior developers take on greater responsibilities, applying the expertise built over five plus years of experience. They're the ones who will design the system architecture and define the project scope. Hence, in our reviewed project, a senior developer would be responsible for designing how the backend handles millions of users, ensuring the platform is scalable and secure, and deciding on the tech stack. When it comes to problem solving, middle developers typically solve well-defined problems. From Jelvix's expertise, middle developers work best on clear tasks that have specific requirements, such as debugging issues or implementing pre-designed features. For example, in the case of our social media development project, they would be responsible for solving bugs in the user feed or fixing issues associated with the user authentication flow. On the flip side, senior developers are not only able to solve, but also anticipate potential issues. They commonly resolve more complex, undefined problems. For instance, if there's an unexpected spike in the social app's traffic, the senior developer will proactively devise solutions to ensure the platform can handle the increased load, optimize the database for performance, and troubleshoot potential bottlenecks. Similarly to problem solving and responsibilities, when it comes to decision making, middle developers typically follow guidance from their senior colleagues. At Jelvix, we view this process not just as control over operations, but as a mentorship and knowledge exchange opportunity that allows mid-level developers to gain additional expertise and advance to senior positions. This in turn enables senior developers to practice and refine their coaching and leadership skills. As for the key decisions, it's senior developers who make key decisions that impact the entire project. Choosing such aspects as which database is most suitable for handling massive amounts of data or what technology to use for scalability. Next up, let's talk about independence. Middle developers at Jelvix are usually independent in the sense that they can implement most features and solve assigned tasks with little supervision. But when it comes to more architectural challenges, such as implementing secure user authentication or optimizing complex queries, they may need some direction or mentoring from a senior developer. A senior developer, however, works fully independently and often leads the team in terms of both project execution and technical decision making. And by the way, this aspect also reflects differences in approaches to code quality. Here's one observation by our anonymous Jelvix expert. If we look at the code of middle developers, we may see it's good quality, functional, and doesn't include bugs. Meanwhile, a senior developer considers a much broader context and ensures that the code is not only functional, but also scalable, maintainable, and optimized for performance. Since we've mentioned leadership, it's actually another factor that differentiates middle and senior developers. Here's how. Middle developers rarely take the lead on projects, but rather focus on their own work and collaborate within the development team. Hence, while they may contribute ideas, their role is primarily about execution. In contrast, senior developers are skilled leaders who set the technical direction, oversee development processes, and guide the project from start to finish. For example, in our social media platform, a senior developer would ensure that the project stays on track and meets both technical and business goals. 
When it comes to technical knowledge, here's another difference. Giving an example of Jelvik's middle developers, they have a solid grasp of core technologies, like web frameworks and basic database management. However, senior developers bring significantly deeper expertise across various technologies, cloud infrastructure, microservices, AI, you name it. Thus, in our social media platform development project, middle developers would be the platform's user interface or handle simple database queries, while senior developers' role would lie in designing scalable backends, optimizing performance, and implementing advanced features like personalized recommendations and real-time messaging. Last but not least, collaboration is another distinctive feature. Commonly, Jelvik's middle developers work within the development team and collaborate closely with other devs to solve technical problems. Senior developers, in turn, don't just stick to the dev team. They often collaborate with cross-functional teams, like designers, product managers, and even business stakeholders, ensuring the project meets both technical and business needs. Wrapping up, see the full landscape of differences between middle and senior developer roles. We hope our explanation cleared things up and that you enjoyed the video along the way. Here's another one you might find useful. And as promised, take a look at the salary differences based on seniority levels and geographic regions. Also, please support us by liking this video and leaving a comment. And don't forget to subscribe and press the bell button. Bye for now.